Hey Harper's Bazaar, I'm Kali Uchis, and I'm going to be filling in the blanks to my own song lyrics. This is a good one. You're obsessed, just let me go. You're dead to me. I'm not somebody you know. These are great lyrics. These are really, really, really great lyrics. They feel so simple, yet so effective in delivering a message that to my core feels timeless. I just feel like everybody should be able to respect one another. I curate my own existence. I curate my own world. And if, you know, whether it be a friend, whether it be a family member, whether it be whoever, if they've shown me multiple times that it's not a fruitful relationship to have or it's toxic, it's really just as simple as living your life without them. So that's just how I, that's just how I live my life. It makes things peaceful for me. The first one, obviously, Papi está rico, Papi está guapo. That's very like, you know, you're feeling somebody, they're sexy, whatever. Delicious. The world's been asking us to lose control. The song in general is, is called Tyrant, and it was about, you know, it starts, all I hear is sirens in a world so violent. So I started painting the picture of, you know, this world is very chaotic. And that's part of why a lot of my music is so mellow, because I feel like when I started making music, it was my piece and just be in this like, dreamy worlds. All we ever do is French like Bridget Bardot. I kind of regret referencing her. <laughs> but at the time, you know, I, I was just playing off words like French Bridget Bardot and kind of just, you know, throwing this, this beauty icon out there. Georgia, she's amazing. I love her. And she was super easy to work with. The way that she carried, you know, the fullness in her voice, I, I don't feel that I have a full voice. I, I'm more into like falsettos and I'm more soft-spoken and she has this depth to her voice that really I felt brought out the song more and it, our voices really um, complemented each other in that way. And so that inspired me to go in on the hooks and, um, going with a deeper tone. We're going around, going around, going around, going down, down. That was, I did that all after her parts. I just felt super inspired to just go in and get on my hook. So the first blank, la luna está llena. The second blank, mi cama vacía. The third blank, lo que yo te haría. We shot the music video for Telepatia in Pereira, Colombia. This was um, pretty much the neighborhood right next to my neighborhood that I grew up playing in when I was little. It's such a glamorous sounding song. I wanted the video to give it that juxtaposition of reality, you know, like being in the streets, real people, animals running by, you know, get them on camera to give it that raw feeling of you're really here and, and represent where I come from because at the end of the day that was what I was trying to do with my album. You know originally um, during the making of my album I was so constantly told like you're on your own we're not going to support this album particularly because it's my second album but it's my first album in Spanish and um, I guess they just didn't feel that that would be marketable or work for me so yeah, I, did, I didn't have any commercial expectations with the album. I really love the song and I'm glad that it's one of the songs that blew up for sure because I think it's different. Okay, this one could get crazy if you filled it in wrong, but it goes, this feels like summer, boy, you make me feel so alive. Just be my lover, boy, you lead me to paradise. This song was Get You with Daniel Caesar. Um, that's the outro, so you know it's simple enough, cute, again, you know, girly. Yeah, I really didn't expect that song to blow up the way it did. I really, in general, whenever I do anything like performance, writing, appearances, interviews, like these type of things, I just try not to psych myself out. So I try, I don't like, you know, I used to have people that they're like, oh, let's pray before this or like, let's do it. And I'm like, I just can't do that because it makes it feel more serious than it is for me. I'm a very much just do what I want to do type of person. And if later I'm like, oh damn, I don't like that or something, you know, uh, you just remember that everything is, doesn't really exist and goes away later anyway, so. I am excited to perform at Coachella. I planned the set list a while ago and I've been rehearsing already because my last one, it was a long time ago and I don't think it was very good. So I'm gonna redeem myself. <laughs> I'm excited to take on the main stage again in a more prepared place in my career, in my, um, in my artistry. I feel like I'm definitely more prepared for that stage these days. So I know times are rough, I think it was, yeah. 
but winners don't quit so don't you give up the sun will come out so this was my first single off of my debut album i think it's really hard to make music that's like positive and that's not corny so i just wanted to put more music out into the world contribute more love and beauty to the world so tyler at that point we had already made a lot of songs together so it was just really i just showed him the song and he jumped on it at that point um bootsy collins I had done an interview, and on the way to the interview, I was listening to Bootsy Collins. I was listening to Munchies, For Your Love, one of my favorite songs. And they asked me, who would you like to collaborate with? And I just said Bootsy Collins because I was the last person I was listening to. And then he reached out to me on Twitter, and he was like, I heard you wanted to work with me. I went to Ohio, and I met his whole family. They were so sweet to me. They had a party for me when I left. They made me a cake. We love you, Cali. Like, it was just such a... I like genuine connections. I don't like to just, like, send a song or somebody just send me a song and I just jump on it. Like, the people that I work with is pretty much all people that I have genuine connections with. Okay. <laughs> so this one's Con un poco de aguardiente y limón. Um... Y limón en el... What did I say there? Are you sure? You, I think I think there's a typo. <laughs> Cause I don't remember this one. Boy, you should taste. Oh, en el jardín. That's what it is. Yeah. Sorry, I really don't listen to this song. En el jardín, boy, you should taste the fruit. When I listen to that song, I just feel, you know, wrapped up in the chord progression. I felt like the words by itself didn't capture the essence of the song so that's why i felt called to put symbols and the symbols are just you know cute girly like <laughs> that's how i felt the song made me feel so i was trying to really i was trying to really take it there with that with that title you know get a little creative but if you and my heart should someday drift apart i'll make sure to give you these blessings the song is i wish you roses honestly i really love flowers are one of my favorite things in the world besides, you know, sunsets and bunnies and rainbows. No. <laughs> no, I really love flowers. And I think, you know, just the same as like after the storm, when the flowers bloom, that song was originally called When the Flowers Bloom. I think I always draw back on nature in my music. It was actually inspired by a song called I Wish You Love by Joe Watan that I used to always listen to when I was little. And I always thought that was such a beautiful message because we so often hear songs about, you know, the more like toxic side of and the more resentful side of you know that situation but i feel pure i guess more so coming from your highest self being able to release people with love thank you for having me harper's bazaar stream red moon and venus i had so much fun with you guys